What's good guys, OJ here, welcome back to another 10 games you should buy on Nintendo Switch now before they are rare, and before we get into anything, please make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're someone new, and click that notification bell to get my videos first, and also keep in mind guys that these aren't foolproof type of games that you should just rush out and buy no matter what, I'm simply giving my own predictions, and also based on the current prices and flow of games, on why I think you should pick up a game or not, so don't take it as the gospel or 100% or I'm trying to influence or trying to swift prices here or there or anything, I don't even have any links to any of these games in the comment section, so I have read some people trying to say that, so just keep in mind, it's just simply giving you guys some ideas on maybe what could be rare in the future based off of previous games, also based off of the franchise that it's on and stuff that I do see in the marketplace. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump right into it here, guys. And we're starting out with the game that I actually just picked up on the Nintendo Switch, and that is Dying Light Platinum Edition. Now, the reason why I say that maybe this could be a game that you should look at before it gets super rare is because Amazon literally took months to get my order. It seemed like they didn't have any more copies or it was back ordered. I know I've heard some people talk about how the game is available at Walmarts, but on Amazon, it's $34.76. At one point, it was $29.99, and the price has risen up from there. It was an easy $29.99, I think last year or whenever it came out on Amazon, no problem, and I wanted to get it, but I just kept on putting it off, and then eventually, I decided to pick it up, and the price actually raised up a little bit, ended up getting it like months later. It just got in recently, so it's definitely something that you might wanna consider considering how long it took me to get that game and probably there isn't many of these being made now as for the game itself well it's a zombie survival first person adventure type of game where you use various different things to destroy zombies and also uncover a plot and all different type of stuff so if you're into those type of games then there you go it's there and if you're looking on ebay it's right around 33 to 40 dollars for loose copies of the game but the amazon version does come brand new and some people have it listed brand new on ebay but i didn't see a lot of them now Next game up on the list here is Diablo 3 Eternal Collection, and I'm very keen on this game because there was a special edition with the Nintendo Switch and all of that that Nintendo did do for it, but now after multiple years of this game being out, it's still pretty expensive on the Nintendo Switch at $48.26. On eBay, you can find some loose copies anywhere between $41 and $53 for a new copy. So it's interesting to just see how this game, you know, from the MSRP, $60, it's still kind of up there at 48. So that tells me that it's probably still selling just a bit, but it hasn't really bottomed out on sales. You know, it's still steady when it comes down to it. Now, I don't know if this is still their initial shipments that they've been going. They've probably had a few shipments or so. So I'm guessing that it's been restocked a number of times and have probably sold decently well on the Nintendo Switch for it to still be $48 this many years later. But what makes this game really interesting on the Nintendo Switch is that there is an exclusive character with Ganondorf. So you can actually use Ganondorf in this game, which makes it probably more valuable in the long run than any other version of the game. And it's also on cartridge. You can play it anywhere that you want. And Diablo is just like a massive game. It has all the content in there and all of the updates and everything. So this seems to me like a game that probably 10 years from now, like nobody else will have when it comes to brand new copies. And people will want to check out some type of like cameos of Nintendo characters and games and this one will be the one that you can check out which would be Diablo 3 with Ganondorf so I highly recommend probably seeing if you can get Amazon or eBay Diablo 3 Eternal Collection now next up is a game that actually recently just launched but you don't have to rush out and buy it now at this point but I still think that it's something worth looking at and having on your radar later for price drops and that is 13 Sentinels Aegis Room. So right now, this game is $59.99. This is Atlas and Vanillaware's latest Switch port masterpiece, which I'm playing myself, and it's a super good game. I think it's really good, 
and I've talked about it before in terms of how good I think this game is and yes it is $60 so right now you don't have to rush out and buy it but keep your eye on it especially around Black Friday or so because Atlas games always tend to just be rare later down the line and 13 Sentinels isn't going to be a game that sells like 3 million copies or something like that and there probably aren't going to produce a lot of these Switch cartridges and for this style of game it definitely seems like it's going to be one of those rare Atlas games down the line. So I do recommend checking out 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. Now, some of you guys are going to buy it day one or it's already been out. So you buy it right away. That's fine. But definitely take a look around Black Friday or so. And it'll probably be on discount for like $39.99 or maybe $49.99. That might be a time to pick it up before all the copies are gone in the next few years or so. Now, moving on to the next game here, and this is a game that I'm actually uh, very excited to talk about because I actually like this game a bit, and that is ARMS on the Nintendo Switch. Amazon has brand new copies for $54.77, while eBay has loose copies for about $47.50, and this kind of is a testament to Nintendo's you know, evergreen type of games. Games just don't get discounted too much. But the reason why I say this game might be something to pick up is because all of the updates are done for the game. Everything has already been included for the game. Everything's finished. And ARMS is one of those unique games made by the Mario Kart team. And there might not ever be a sequel to this game. This just might be it as a new IP for the Nintendo Switch. And the fact that the price hasn't been going down, so it's not like it's on fire sale, like we've seen on some of the other games out there. Nintendo's first party games on Switch tend to not drop too much, but I do think that they didn't make many more copies of this game. They probably put out four or five million copies of this game, and where you can find it, not at this point, right? It's been five years since the game launched, so you can find it for a good price, but I think that in the next number of years, that's going to dwindle, and the price is going to stay right around there, or even just jump up quite a bit more. So I've seen Nintendo kind of have certain games like this that have done this in the past, where they release some type of new concept or new type of game, and people kind of buy it. I mean, it sells millions or whatever, but it kind of just fades away, you know, as other games come out and other fighting games like Smash Brothers and stuff like that come out, and people just kind of forget about it but it ends up becoming rare so i do think that arms could be one of those games that this actually happens to so look out for the best prices for arms right now like i said around 47 dollars or so on ebay 54 dollars on amazon for a brand new copy now next up are the atelier riza games these games seem to always have production issues because as i looked up the prices on amazon I couldn't even find a US version of it. And when I bought the game, I thought it was a US version of it, but it was a European version. I didn't pay attention to the bottom left corner to see that big orange, ugly, you know, European rating board or whatever it was. So I messed up on that one. But right now you can get the European version for $49.83. And if you want the actual US version of the game, brand new, they have some copies for $58. So actually above the MSRP for the game. So this has been one of those games that have always just not been around people have had trouble trying to get atelier riza the second game came out as well and that one's a bit easier to find you can actually see atelier riza on amazon for a good price i think it's like 40 something to 50 dollars and also on ebay for right around that so i highly recommend probably picking up both of them especially if you're into the atelier riza games the games are actually really good rpgs turn-based rpgs very fun really cool crafting elements um, the graphics necessarily aren't the best on the Nintendo Switch or even the PlayStation, be it that, but the gameplay is definitely really good. So they have something going there with the Atelier Ryza games, but this game is kind of infamous for like being in stock on Amazon for like a second than being out of stock and then shifting back and forth, you know, over and over and over again. So yeah, I'm definitely going to try to see if I can get a US copy of the game with the box art and everything. But for right now, they do have those European copies and it's still up there when it comes to price considering this game is a number of years old at this point. Now, next up, I usually like to go games that are, you know, somewhat lower in the price and then maybe we have like preemptive strikes on these games before they come super rare. But this game is actually kind of rare, you know, at this point. And that is a physical version of Golf Story. Now, Amazon has it for 100 and $50 and I was looking through my collection and I noticed that yeah I bought this game 
not for limited run because it's a limited run game but i bought it i think it was at best buy i already had the game digital i saw it at best buy for like i think it was like 20 or 30 bucks i know it wasn't much more than 30 i know it wasn't more than 30 i saw it for that price and i was like all right i'll just pick it up it's a good game and, you know the physical copy limited run but they were selling it at best buy part of like the limited run collection that's at best buy and that was the best investment that i made because it's 150 dollars for a new copy on amazon on ebay you can find loose copies for about 70 dollars and maybe get a new copy for around 100 or best offer so this is definitely a bona fide rare game and expensive game at this point considering the msrp on this game is like not that much on the switch eShop, and even back when it was physical on limited run games so yeah if you can get yourself a copy of golf story see if you can get it right now at this point because i'm guessing in a number of years the price of this is going to jump dramatically up considering the type of game this is and the type of quirkiness it has it almost has that earthbound but golf and indie type of feel to it i just don't know why but it does so something tells me that this game is going to be worth quite a bit in the future so maybe you want to take the plunge and pick it up now maybe if you can get a loose copy or if you can get that on amazon if you want to go for the 150 and get that brand new copy but it's up to you but either way it's a great game um and if you have the game then rejoice because you do have a rare game that's expensive at this point now next up is another game that's kind of expensive and another limited run or rare run collection game and that is grandia hd collection on ebay you can pick that up for 70 dollars 99 all the way through 120 dollars for new copies so loose copies new copies i couldn't even find the game on amazon there was no listing for a u.s version of the game there was a korean version which you can import but there was no price associated with it so i guess they were sold out at the time but either way this game is rare. It's already rare at this point, and it's even going to get more rare as things go on. Now, I know I remember seeing prices that were a little bit higher than the 120 that I saw, so maybe things have dipped down just a bit. But for the most part, this is going to be a rare game. So if you have it, you're up $70 at the minimum, maybe even more. And if it's brand new, you can definitely get over $100 for this game and once again i think that the reoccurring theme here which we're going to get into a bit more but the collections of games the rpgs and the collections of games usually tend to do very well and the certain limited run independent games and stuff like that do really well so definitely looking into buying those games is a good deal because these games usually end up being priced a lot more because they don't make a lot of them you know there's barely any of these limited run type of games and these smaller rpg collections or smaller indie games and kind of what they go for there now going from a smaller rpg collection to a big western rpg and that is the witcher 3 wild hunt complete edition on the nintendo switch now this game is already above the playstation and xbox versions of it it's 53 dollars and 90 cents which it did retail for 59 dollars and 99 cents it has all of the dlc has all of the stuff in there and it also has a very unique feature that i think the other versions don't have which makes it kind of attractive to gamers out there so if you have the pc version of the game what you can do is that you can transfer the save files from the pc version of the game to the nintendo switch version of the game and vice versa which was very attractive at the time the game came out now obviously since then we've gotten a lot of these portable pcs the steam deck you know that can kind of handle a game like the witcher 3 probably a lot better than the nintendo switch so maybe it isn't as requested as it was before because people are picking up their steam decks and everything but it's still an option for those who maybe don't want a steam deck and still want to go with nintendo switch and be able to have the switching between with the save files between the nintendo switch version and also the pc version of the game so that was a pretty cool feature that they did implement there and you're not seeing the price go down much so that tells me that the game is being steady in its sales and it's probably going to stay right around there if not go up down the line now cd project red did announce that the game sold over 1.4 million units in their latest financial call and that blew me away that that game sold that much on the nintendo switch considering most of those were at or near full price so they're making quite a bit of money off of the switch version of the game which most people felt that wasn't even possible on the system so i do suggest picking up a copy of the witcher 3 wild hunt for your collection 
on the Nintendo Switch. Also, eBay has loose copies for $45, so you might be able to pick it up there as well. Now, next up is Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 Plus 2. Now, this is one of those budget pickups that I talk about, and we discussed Crash Bandicoot in my last video. Now, this time, we're going on with the other Activision game, and that is Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 Plus 2. It's only $26 on Amazon, and the reason why I like this, once again, it is a collection. It's both games on the cart. There is no extra downloading of Tony Hawk 2 or 1 download codes. Everything's complete right there. And with the transition sale with Activision to Microsoft, we don't know when the next Tony Hawk game is coming. We don't know what they're going to do with production of this. We don't know what's going on at all. So they could have just cut off production and pretty much said, hey, we're never going to do Tony Hawk again or whatever the case is. So this would be like the last Tony Hawk that we get. And you're going to want it complete on a cartridge play anywhere that you want i mean i think that the switch version is very appealing for many people out there and from what i understand it did pretty well too so pick it up on discount now before it gets too expensive it is already under msrp at 39 dollars 99 you can get it for 26 so not bad on amazon i do suggest it and it's a great game too it doesn't have the cool collector edition with the skateboard like i got for my xbox one but you know hey it is what it is you get it for 26 dollars and you can play it anywhere that you want you can go skating like actual skateboarding and then also play the game when you're at the skate park so there you go now last but definitely not least is a game that many of you guys might be surprised to be here but it's super mario 3d world plus bowser's fury now we all know first party games a lot of you guys buy them anyway but here's the reason why i think this one's important i've seen people say oh well i have the game on the wii u and that's fine you have the game on the wii u However, this version is very important because it includes Bowser's Fairy. And the key to this, this is $49.94 on Amazon right now. You can get loose copies on eBay for right around that same price, right? The interesting thing about this is that the Bowser's Fairy content. If the Bowser's Fairy content was on the eShop or separate where you can buy that, then I might not have this game on the list. If they just like bundled it or whatever the case is. But the fact that the only way to play Bowser's Fury is by buying Super Mario 3D World makes this thing very valuable because Nintendo did not separate it. You know, even if you go in the eShop, you can't just buy Bowser's Fury. They didn't separate it. And many, many people just bought Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury outright. And I do think that in the future, once this game is long done with its print run and everything, that it's going to be valuable out there for many people because of that Bowser's Theory content. Maybe when this Switch eShop eventually shuts down at some point years down the line. I don't know when, obviously, but at some point it is. And that Bowser's Theory content is only going to be available if you have it with that cartridge. So I do feel that Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Theory is a game to look out for. Watch out for sales, guys. It's $49.94 on Amazon right now, but I'm pretty sure Black Friday you'll be able to get it for like $30 or $35 or $40 or somewhere in that range. So there's definitely ways to get it cheaper when it comes to the actual physical copy around certain sale periods at the end of the year. So look out for that. But that is it for this video when it comes to 10 games that you should buy now at this point before they become rare. Now, what other games do you guys want me to look at? What other games do you guys want me to discuss? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this video here. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Please make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you're someone new. Click that notification bell, and we will see you for the next video. Peace.